Welcome back, and it's day four of Foley. Okay, I've made a list of pending things that haven't been done. There's 48 of them, so uh, if you'll pardon the pun, we're not out of the woods yet. Um, fortunately, I've got all the footsteps done. That was a great triumph. It really made me feel good. But there's a load of stuff to do. Um, and sitting among all the props now, so including some of the clothes here, so let's get those down there. I'll go through these one by one. We've got straw. Um, there's a bit where Louis picks up the hat from the forest floor and I didn't have any leaf noises for that so I'm going to put an extra one on. I'm kind of thinking I should have used straw for all the leaf sounds but I don't want to do it all again. We've got the usual cuffless rubber gloves for Louis trainers and I can do various things with these. Um, for example, here's a shelf and it's got a, a rough edge. So if I use that rough edge, I can do this. And it sounds like Louis climbing up a tree, which he does a couple of times, or at least once. This next one is one of my favourites. It's the horrible mucus noise. <laughs> that is so difficult to do. So that's what I'm using that for. Another thing I'm using that for is just explain this big leather coat, which I've had for years now, is the monster's hide. So if I do this, it sounds like the monster's hide moving as it creeps through the bushes or whatever. <laughs> Meet my friend Sully. <laughs> so that's established as that sound. So when Louis hits or kicks him, I put it over the wooden shelf, like so. Put the wooden shelf in there and then just... Okay, solid sound. Other cloth moves are to do with um, Louis' t-shirt, Louis' clothes basically, which are, I've got one of my t-shirts but it's a, a very light one, um, so I'm going to rub that together. So hard holding your breath, you know, you don't want to get your breathing on there. And I've got obviously my jeans for walking. The board didn't work as a monster body. It was too obviously wooden, so I've got to find something else. Right, the next one I think is where it starts to attack him when it's on the bench. Yeah, here we go. Okay, um, we've got a water bottle. I need to pick that up. There was no sound of it being picked up from the ground, so I'm going to do that again. Shut up, stomach. Quilt, we'll try that. Here is something delightful. It's a wet sponge. I'm going to do unspeakable things to him. And whether you'll be able to hear this on the camera, Mike, I'll try it. It makes a horrible kind of mucus noise. I'm hoping that that'll sound like the monster sort of slavering a bit. We'll see. No. Um. Yes. Really nasty. Oh yes, 
It's an air washer. Yes, you may think it's a salad dryer, but um, it's an air washer, basically. Okay, no decent punch or kick is complete <clears throat> without this. And of course we need a wind protector for the mic as well. Louis, I'm sorry about this, but to simulate your head being hit, I'm going to use my belly. Right. later. No, not really. <laughs> okay. okay, all present and correct. Phantom power goes back on and off we go. <laughs> cool. Okay, that's the air washer. Um, what else have we got? Pretty much it actually. Everything else I'm doing is vocal sounds. No, no, no. No Oscars for that performance. Okay, <clears throat> knowing that um, quite often these things just go on and on afterwards because I'm tidying stuff up and so on, I think I might stop, it's 20 to 3. So this was Foley day 4, let me just grab the sheet. I think, uh, assuming that we've got some good recordings. We've got a lot of stuff done. I still haven't decided whether the monster should have footsteps. It's a bit of a difficult one. I'm thinking not because there's too many sounds otherwise. Um, oh, hang on, there's one I've missed. Picking up the bottle. I'll do that in a minute and then we'll stop. Um, basically, what's left is ambience, which is river and forest ambience. Really hard to get actually. Um, picking up the bottle, as I just mentioned, and everything else is pretty much vocals. <clears throat> and my throat's not feeling too good after doing that death rattle, so <laughs> I think I'll leave that till tomorrow and I'll sort of rest my voice. Yeah, so let's do the bottle and then that'll be it for the night. <sighs> Getting there. So. See you on uh, day five, probably, when I'll be smashing watermelons and things, maybe. Don't know whether I want any more mess. Anyway, bye for now. <laughs>